Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Exploring AWS. Now, this morning, what I want to talk about is regions and availability zones. And there's a lot more to Amazon's infrastructure than just those two things, but those are kind of the two important things that you're really going to want to know when you're thinking about deploying things to the cloud. So let me just grab my pen here really, really quick, and we'll, we'll just kind of draw a quick, uh, quick whiteboard session here before we take a look at it. So Amazon has multiple regions across the globe. Now, these regions are not necessarily a specific data center. What they've done is they've said, okay, we're going to pick a geographical location where we can have a cluster of data centers. So let's just say that this region is Northern Virginia, okay? In Northern Virginia, there may be multiple data centers that are spread across the Northern Virginia geographical area, and each one of these data centers would be a separate availability zone. So when you see availability zone or AZ, that's equivalent to a data center living within that region, within that area. So Amazon may have four or five availability zones or four or five data centers within that geographical region of Northern Virginia or Northern Canada or wherever it may be. Now, if you head over to aws.amazon.com, you can see the URL here, and you scroll down about three quarters of the way, you're going to see a map. Now, you can click load more. That'll bring you to another page. It'll have the same map on it with just a little bit more of a breakdown of, of different, um, different, uh, different things. Right, a different different categories and, and what the different options are, but that's not what I'm, I'm after at the moment. So if I come over here and I find the Northern Virginia region, again, you'll see geographically there are six availability zones or six data centers within Northern Virginia, within that region that I could use. Now I can spread my workloads across all six data centers if I want to. Um, in fact, my web application that we're using within this demo is spread across two different availability zones or two different data centers. So I have you know, a web server in one data center. I have a web server in another data center. I have backend database services in each data center. I have an EFS share in each data center. So this is how you can figure out where and how you want to spread your data. You might want to have, you know, some of your data in Northern Virginia. Um, you may want to try to have another account or some other data in another availability zone or in another uh, region. So you can you can use this map to figure out where and what region you're going to be able to put your data in, and and also. How many data centers do you have as an option? So for example, in Northern Virginia, I have six availability zones, but over in Ohio, I only have three. So maybe I want to pick uh, Northern Virginia, you know, US East, as my availability zone because first of all, it's geographically going to be located where the bulk of my users are, where my maybe corporate office is, or it's going to give me more availability zones to replicate my data or to spread my load across. So this is where you're going to really, uh, really going to start to make some decisions on where your data is and, and where it's going to be. Now these little orange bubbles here, these are going to be data centers or regions that are coming soon. Amazon is in the process of building out data centers to... Um, in the process of building out data centers within that region. Now, if I come over here to documentation, I'm gonna click documentation, and uh, we'll click documentation again. This is where you can find all of the different, uh, you know, how-to articles and references, API guides, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on Amazon EC2 for compute. And there's one more thing that I wanna do. I'm gonna click on user guide for Linux instances. So we'll go ahead and click here. And I'm going to come down to regions and zones. This is where I just want to break this down a little bit further for you because, again, you might be studying for, you know, your cloud practitioner exam. You want reading material. You don't want to have to go out and necessarily, uh, you know, have to do all this discovery. Everything within this, <clears throat> everything within Amazon is, is readily available for you to just go and read through. So you can come down here. You can click on regions, and it'll kind of explain exactly what I've said to you. So a, a region is a geographical location, and you'll have a region here. So within the same region, you may have U.S. East 1, U.S., uh, you know, this may be EU West 1. So you may have different regions and then different availability zones within that region. And then we'll click on availability zones and it kind of breaks that out for you and, and kind of explains exactly what we're looking for. Now, you can also find a list of availability zones from Amazon. You can find a, a list of 
all the availability zones that are available to you. Um, and again, this will break down exactly what local zones are within that availability zone, etc. So this is a really, really good place for you to come and read and actually see, you know, how Amazon has broken out its infrastructure. And again, I highly encourage you to come and read through this or at least look through it so that you understand where you're going to put your data before you get started. Okay, so before you go and start turning on EC2 instances, and you know, it's obviously going to ask you, and we'll get to that in a later video, what region, you know, what, avail what availability zone you want to turn this EC2 instance on in you want to have an understanding of where you're putting that server or where you're putting those those services before you click next and submit. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.